Welcome back to a series of lecture on digital image processing. Today's talk is about pan sharpening. Uh, before uh, to discuss about the issues related to pan sharpening, what pan sharpening is, taking two different resolution or you can uh, simply understand that uh, taking a larger resolution into a, I mean smaller resolution into a larger scale, 30 meter resolution into 5 point, you are bringing 30 meter resolution into 5.8 meter resolution, it means you get more information about the surface of the earth. So, by doing this, you can do lot of uh, good amount of interpretation. The cost of the data is almost uh, many times very less by applying this technology. But now, after uh, uh, launching uh, this uh, data, free of data of 10 meter resolution, again, this again questionable. Now, the data is uh, available even less than a meter, but uh, we need to know how to use all this data and what is the different applications of this. Let us now discuss about the pan sharpening uh, for its various uses. Pan sharpening is a technique of merging high resolution data with medium resolution data of multispectral to get higher resolution features. And this is the best example for you to quickly understand. Even be, uh, this is a larger resolution data, pan data, quick bird data. <coughs> and this is a <coughs> the resolution of this image is you know not good, but uh, this looks very good. You are taking this color image 30 meter to 5.8 meter or uh, from 30 meter to 1 meter, you just stretch the color information and then paste it over this, and you get a very classical image. That is the speciality of pan sharpening. So now uh, you will understand how this is there. You have a poor resolution, superpose over good resolution, you will get at least a better than this image, which includes 630 meter resolution multi spangle and a 60 meter thermal infrared plus 15 meter resolution of pan data in LAN 7. LAN 7 can superimpose and then get. And why do you want to do this? You know, that uh, for saving money, you are using a single satellite or multiple satellite, you know, that um, if you want higher resolution data the cast bandwidth you know it becomes so high but you take uh, the recent data and then superpose even over the um, little old data you can save large amount of money and pad sharpening uses spatial information of higher resolution grayscale to color information multi spectral that is the additional uh, you will get you know black you are going to make it as a color that to be with clarity is more and uh, these are all the examples of why you are you are going for pan sharpening Oh, a common uh, substitution by using algorithm for pan sharpening is called uh, com component uh, substitution which usually involves the following steps. There are five steps they are doing, uh, sampling, the color bands are up sampled to the same resolution, alignment, alignment it means if, suppose if you have higher resolution of IRS, if you have lower resolution of, sorry, higher, higher resolution of Landsat and lower resolution of IRS you want to match. Both the satellites are different, but uh, it has to match. But normally, if you do match with the uh, same data, like you no know, Landsat 30 to Landsat 5, it will be very easy. But alignment sometimes will get you know required for uh, careful, careful evaluation. That forward transformation, the upsampled color bands are transformed to an alternate color space where intensity is orthogonal to the color information again we have to be doubly careful intensity matching component substitutions these are all the different steps involved in uh, doing all our exercise and reverse sometimes if it is not matching we have to do reverse transformation and where you will get distortion you know that normally you do in a single satellite it does not work as it does not matter but if you are going for different different satellite you have to be careful that in the spectral Distortions will be there if you use different uh, satellites. Landsat panchromatic band is not uh, sensitive to blue light. When you are using Landsat panchromatic data, then you have to be doubly careful or you will get a distortion in the output. And the distortion will be there by using different different algorithms like uh, spectral distortions in visually pleasing images. Sometimes when you do huge 
hue saturation intensity color space uh, transformation by using pan sharpening and you will be having a problem of taking even this color combinations like y c r c b and if you if you just do that this common color space transformation where you have to be doubly careful distortions is possible the same steps can be performed by using wavelet decomposition pc and replacing first component to pan band where you will get a lot of problems uh, this is pca sharpened image panchromatic image pca sharpened multispectral you see this two you take and then you see pca sharpened grams we sharpen hca sharpened hca sharpened now you decide which data is you know good for us uh, for different users so with this why we are using pan sharpening uh, i mean uh, discussion has come to an end thank you